Welcome to r slash Entitled Parents, and in today's episode, an entitled mom tries to steal porn for her son. Entitled aunt and my mom used to get along good. Well, as good as two sisters usually get on. But when Entitled Aunt had a kid, almost all contact was dropped between them and she now only calls my mom to ask for a small loan of insert large amount of money here or other favors like her driving down to look after her Entitled Kid for a day. She lives over four hours away. But you can't stay the night as I don't have room and gets offended when my mom declines. Anyway, so as a sort of olive branch, my mom got quite ill a few months prior and had one of those moments where she didn't want any regrets when she died. My mom invited Entitled Aunt and her Entitled Kid around for a few nights so they can catch up and whatnot. So I'm waiting at the door. The car pulls up out front and I open the door when she rings the bell. I open the door. Hey, Aunt Mar- Hold this! Shoves bag in my face, which I take. I kind of write this off since it was a four hour journey with a most likely screaming child. My mom and Entitled Aunt proceed to exchange pleasantries, but I notice my mom is doing basically all the niceties. How was your journey? Etc. Not really important to the story, I just like to show that she's not a nice lady. Anyway, so a few minutes go by. I make some tea and a hot chocolate for Entitled Kid. He didn't ask for it, I was just being nice. It's cold! It's steaming at the top so I know he's lying. I laugh awkwardly and sit down. Entitled Kid blinks at me. It's still cold! At this point, I realize he's not joking. Entitled kid, I can see the steam. It's not cold. Oh, he just watched Ratatouille. For those of you who don't know, Ratatouille is an animated film about a chef rat and is trying to be more like the name of some character from the film. Be a dear and remake it for him. Side note, from what I remember, his character never says the food's cold, but I could be wrong. I kind of sit still for a bit, not sure if she's serious. Now, please! And then she laughs at the entitled kid who gleefully holds up his cup. Now, it should be noted at this point that my mom let it happen since she was desperate to get on with her sister, but that will change later, don't worry. Me knowing that my mom wants to work this out, sure, whatever. I go into the kitchen and set down the mug out of view, rattle around the spoons and jugs, and bring the same hot chocolate back. The kid is fine with it, but entitled aunt? Oh no. You didn't remake that. I saw you put that on the side and bring it back out. Entitled Kid stops drinking. Mommy, I want a hot one. Don't worry, honey, you'll get a hot one. At this point, I'm just annoyed. The kid was fine with it, but Entitled Aunt was just being a jerk. Well, the microwave is in there, motions towards the kitchen. Knock yourself out. So I don't cause a scene, I leave the room and go upstairs to my room. Now, recently I've started playing a new game on my PC called Bioshock 2. For those of you who don't know, it's a horror game that takes place underwater. Now, a key point to both this story and the game is that in the game there are little girls who run around called Little Sisters, and their job is to collect resources from dead bodies around the various game levels. Each one is protected by a huge man in a diving suit known as Big Daddies, which are usually referred to by the Little Sisters as Daddy or Mr. Bubbles, for whatever reason, I don't know. And in the second game you play as one of the big daddies and have to defend these little girls while they harvest the resources. If you've played the game or are super intelligent, you probably know where this is going. Anyway, so I boot up the game and begin playing. A few minutes pass and I assume Entitled Kid gets bored because I hear him scampering upstairs and, without knocking, enters my room. Knowing the game is quite gruesome and I shouldn't play it in front of him, I pause the game. Hey, could you please knock next time? I don't have to knock at home. You're not at home. The kid ignores this. What are you playing? An adult game. But you're not an adult. Aha, you got me. I don't like him much, but I get he's a kid, and although he's annoying as heck, I do recognize that I've got to bear with him a little bit since he's only about five to six and doesn't really know any better than to be annoying and squeaky. Can you play some, please? Not with you here, mate. As I said, it's an adult game. He storms out, slamming my door behind him. I was a bit confused since I, though annoyed, understood why I wasn't allowed to play certain games when I was his age. A few moments pass and this is where it gets a tad unbelievable, so fair enough if you want to call BS. In the game, I set the little sister down and she begins harvesting the body and several enemies attack, attempting to get the little sister just as I hear footsteps coming up the stairs. I have a little eye roll as I know exactly what's about to happen. It's Entitled Aunt. She stands outside my door for a few seconds, I assume thinking of something to say, but I give it no thought. Just as she's about to walk in, without knocking, I might add, the little sister in the game gets attacked and lets out a high-pitched, Daddy! Asking me, her guardian, for help. Now, at the time, I didn't really think much of it, as I know full well what I'm doing, whereas all Entitled Aunt knows at this point is that I'm a 16-year-old boy and she knows full well what most 16-year-old boys are motivated by. 
She bangs her hand on the door. What the F is wrong with you? Huh? She barges into the room, which if she thought I really was doing the thing guys do is pretty creepy. What the F did you show my angel? I paused the game. Oh, he asked to see the game and I said no since it's an 18. Don't lie to me, you little jerk. He just came downstairs crying because you played an adult thing in front of him. What? Entitled aunt, this is a game. I just heard a woman moaning in here. Don't lie to me. What you heard was a character in the game. If you sit down, I'll show you. At this point, Entitled Kid is at the door and wanders in. Entitled Kid points to the pause screen. That's it! I'll play some of it for you to prove it's not porn if you just sit down. I gesture to the bed. I'd like to point out that I wasn't being aggressive at all during this. She was screaming at me and I was talking normally. Both of them take a seat on my bed. You might want to tell Entitled Kid to leave. It's a grown-up game. Entitled Aunt, still angry but a little quieter. If it's good enough for you, it's good enough for him. Realizing that didn't actually make much sense, I play the game anyway. Big mistake. Now, I understand that I wasn't smart in this situation and I didn't really think it through. I then proceeded to show her and her little brat about two minutes of me blowing enemies' heads off with a shotgun and a huge drill. I did mention before it was gruesome. I paused, turn around, and realize my mistake. Entitled Aunt looks mortified. However, Entitled Kid looked fine. What kind of sick porn is that? I was surprised. Surely she couldn't be that stupid. I was expecting her to flip out because I showed it in front of her kid. But no, she still thought it was some kind of kink I had. Because why wouldn't you? I roll my eyes. Entitled Aunt, it's clearly not porn. I'm telling your mother right now, and we're taking your Xbox right now as compensation. I decided not to point out that it was a PC, not an Xbox. Hey, at least she didn't call it a Nintendo. Entitled Aunt points to my monitor and holds out her hand like she expects to be able to carry on like that and that I just give it over. What the F? No way. I want it, mummy. You can have it, sweetie. Give it. Now. No, get the F out of here, crazy lady. The Entitled Aunt tried to grab my monitor and I smack her arm away. Did you just hit my child, you fat slob? F off now. Entitled Aunt storms downstairs, dragging Entitled Kid by the wrist, and I hear her yelling at my mom downstairs, calling her a bee and whatnot for letting me have a computer for it. That filth. I hear a thud and rush downstairs, worried. Luckily, it was only her Entitled Kid having a tantrum on the floor. I'm watching from the staircase and Entitled Aunt hasn't noticed me yet. What kind of terrible parenting are you doing? I demand to having his Xbox and we're sleeping in his room tonight. Look, can everyone please just calm down? My aunt slaps my mom. This is where I lose my cool. Now, I'm 6'1 and I'm taller than my aunt by about a foot. I'm also not particularly muscly, but I am quite big and when wearing the correct clothes can look like I am. I emerge from the staircase. Out. Now. Entitled Aunt ignores what I said. And you, listen here, but out now. What? Get the F out of my house now, and if you come back, I'll call the police. At this point, I'm about two feet away from her, and she realizes exactly how tall and supposedly muscly I am. It's also worth noting that I'd never have touched her or her son in a violent way, but she didn't know that. You can't do that. I can. You and your little stain you call a son get out of my house right now or I'll make you. We're family. I was shocked at this. Like how could she even consider making that excuse when my mom was currently crying with a big red mark on her cheek? Get out now. Entitled Aunt, realizing she's beaten, begins grabbing her things and tells Entitled Kid to get his shoes on so she can tie them. Nope. Out. I point at the door. Yes, yes, I'm getting his shoes on, you jerk. Put them on in the car now. F off. Entitled Aunt moves towards the door and I open it for her. She's grabbing Entitled Kid's wrist and is practically dragging him along while he wails that he wants my game. I throw a bag she forgot onto the ground and slam the door behind me. I immediately check on my mom who's sobbing quietly clutching her face. She was fine and I think it was mostly shocked, but she was understandably devastated. She spoke to me later that night and gave me a huge hug, thanking me. Needless to say, we didn't hear from Entitled Aunt for several months until she apologized a few weeks ago and proceeded to ask for money. My mom blocked her. Since everyone was asking, I'll put it here. My mom is fine now. She was diagnosed with cancer and went through chemo, so wasn't herself for a while. Normally, she'd have hit her back, but she was mostly upset, not because the visit was a failure, but more because of what the visit represented. She's fine now. 
Ah, once again, flawless entitled parent logic. That is the most disgusting, vile, repulsive porn I've ever seen in my life. Give it to me right now so that my son can have it. So, basic information. Me and my best friends were in a beach, just chilling. One thing I need to inform is that my best friend is on the big-breasted side of the spectrum. So, like any big-breasted woman, bikinis are a nightmare to her. She always is stared at, and that makes her really uncomfortable. Now to the story. Me and her were in a more secluded part of the beach. We had swim, and we decided to sit a bit. When we come back to our chairs, a family has settled down next to us. The mom was in her late 30s, and the dad was in his early 50s. They had a child with them, a 9-ish year old boy. We didn't pay mind to them. We just sit in our chairs and talk for a bit. I noticed the dad of the family looking at my friend, but paid no mind. I decided to pick something to drink. There was a bar nearby. I asked my friend if she wanted something. She asked me for a lemon. I go to the bar and see the entitled mom coming near me. I waited in line until entitled mom comes to talk to me. Hi, I saw that you and your friend are nearby me and my family. I just nodded to her. I think your friend is really beautiful, but she is showing too much cleavage. I looked at her, trying to think what to respond to this. Well, she can't be faulted for being born with big breasts, can she? She looked at me like she was expecting me to agree with her. Well, she could not use a bikini that small, she said with a somewhat annoyed voice. She can do whatever she wants, lady. She became red at that. I don't think that this woman has ever heard someone disagree with her before. She is looking like a slut. My child will be traumatized. I looked back to where my friend is sitting. I have a clear view of her and the entitled mom's family. Her child is doing sandcastles. A cute view, I might add. And her husband is staring hard at my friend who was passing sunscreen at the time. So the problem was not her child. It was her husband. Well, I can't do much, lady. Now, please leave me alone. Finally, it was my turn, so I picked my drinks and ignored the entitled mom. She wasn't happy about it, though. Don't you dare ignore me, young man. I'm not finished. I just looked at her and took a sip of my drink before saying, Lady, your kid isn't even looking at my friend. Your husband, on the other hand... I pointed at her husband who was staring at my friend with hungry eyes. She looked shocked and just started walking to her husband. I go to my friend, gave her the drink, and sit beside her, watching the wife furiously whisper to her husband. Not long after, my friend and I decided to leave. I didn't tell my friend about the crazy lady. She has confidence issues enough. At least I didn't see this family ever again. Hello, 911. What is your emergency? H Hello? Is this the police? Yes, I'd like to report a woman in a bikini at the beach. Um, ma'am, it's normal for women to wear bikinis at the beach. Yes, but it's traumatizing my poor little boy. Ma'am, if the woman is bothering you, is there anywhere else on the beach that you can sit? No, absolutely not. This is the only place on the entire beach where we can sit and we demand that you come arrest this slut. So my parents disowned me for being an atheist. My family is very religious. They will look at you like trash if you say you don't believe in a God. They kicked me out and didn't support me through college, my last year of college, and I haven't spoken to them for almost three years now. Just a few weeks ago, I got word from my cousin that my little sister got hospitalized due to Dinju, which is a mosquito-transmitted virus, so I went to visit her when she was about to be discharged. When I got there, it was just my sister in the room. I asked where my parents were, and she said that they were trying to raise funds for the hospital bill. Turns out my parents' medical insurance didn't cover most of the hospital bill and left a large out-of-pocket, around 26,000 Philippine pesos. If there are any Filipinos out there, you know this is a large amount already. Fortunately, I was able to save up a lot over the past year, so I went ahead and paid for it. When my parents came back, I told them that it's already been paid for and that we're just waiting for the discharge orders. The first question they ask is why was I there and where did I get the money from? I explained my cousin told me what happened and that I was saving money for my little sister's college. They didn't even thank me and the next question they asked is how much money I have saved. I didn't give them the amount but they insisted I should give it to them since my sister is living with them. I told them no and that I will give it to my sister personally once she enters college. It's her last year of high school. That wasn't good enough for them. They kept saying they need the money but won't even specify what the money would be for. I still didn't budge. A week passed and they still don't stop bugging me, calling me ungrateful to them as my parent and so on and so forth, even asking my girlfriend to have her talk to me about giving them the money. 
I love the logic of these parents. You're a disgusting, godless, ungrateful person. Get out of my house and I never want to see you again. But before you do, give me all of your money because we deserve it. That was r slash Entitled Parents. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe button. I put out new videos every single day.